Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Lysenter Leroy Pearson of Greater St. Paul, where our pastor is the Dr. Reverend Toby H. Pollock. And this morning I'll be coming at you all with our youth church school message. Our youth church school message. And our lesson is Lesson 3, March the 21st, 2021. And our topic for this week here is a wise prophet. A wise prophet. When we think about wise, we think about knowledge. We think about wisdom. We're thinking about what Solomon asked God for. Wisdom. Wisdom. To be wise. And prophet is a mouthpiece for God. Speaking God's word. Telling what does says the Lord. And our lesson scripture this week is 2 King 22. Our focus scripture is 2 King 22, 14 through 20. And when we think about the wise prophet and the king, and 2 King, the key verse, trust in the Lord and do good. Psalm 37 and 3. 37, 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. As I always say, age has nothing to do with, with accepting God as your Lord and Savior. Age has nothing to do with God, allowing God to guide you through this journey. Because when we look at age, age has nothing to do with nothing. Because we can die at any age. So that's why we have to know God and accept God to do his will and his word. So when we look at 2 King here, 2, 2 King 22, 14 through 20 NRSV. So the priest Hilkiah, Amakiah, Anador, Sephi, Sephirin, and Asiah went to the prophet Hilda, the wife of Shalom, son of Tavar, son of Hera, keeper of the wardrobe. She resided in Jerusalem in the second quarter where they consulted, consulted her. She declared to them, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Tell the man who sent you to me. Thus saith the Lord, I will indeed bring disaster on this place and its inhabitation. All the word, words of the book that the kings of Judah had read. Because they have abandoned me and have made offers to other gods, so that they have provoked me to anger with all the words of their hand, works of their hand. Therefore, my wrath will be kindled against this place, and it will not be quenched. But as to the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord thy Thus shall you say to him, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, regarding the word that you have heard, because your heart was pitted, and you humbled yourself before the Lord. When you heard how I spoke against this place and against its inhabitation, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and because you had torn your clothes and wept before me, I also have heard you said the Lord. Therefore, I will gather you to your ancestors, and you shall gather to your grave in peace. Your eyes shall not see all the disaster that I will bring on this place. They took the message back to the king. They took the message back to Josiah. And when we're looking at here, Second King, we're looking at Josiah. Eight years old when he became king, when he started reigning over Judah, reigning, over Judah, and when we think about eight years old, and then you think about eight year old, and he is in control of a whole city. How can you do it by the help of the Lord? And we look at today in God's word. Today's lesson take place at a time when the prophets who served the matriarch of Judah and Israel aren't godly spoken person. Instead, such coarse prophet, you share message that the person on the throne wants to hear. 
They want a lot of times they want the prophet to tell them what they want to hear. They don't want to hear what thus says the Lord. They want to feel good. As we sometimes say when people come to church, they want you to preach them that they'll feel good. You know, I'm going to tell you what thus says the Lord. Whenever this happened, the prophets who work outside of the politic system are usually compelled by God to share a godly message. Sometimes very different things ha different happen in today's lesson. The prophet that God used to share the good message isn't an outside prophet. Hilda lived and ministered inside the capital city. Her husband and her family are kept keepers of the wardrobe, which means the family provide the royal crown, the royal court with its clothing. These are the robes and clothes that they wear. In other words, Hilda has so many connections to the throne that she must be a court prophet. All of these connections explain why King Josiah and his adversary go to her instead of going to Jeremiah. Now remember, Jeremiah was one of the major prophets. Who is an outside prophet serve at the time at the same time? How do we know Hilda speak for God? She uses the same phrase and method of delivering God's message that other godly prophets use. For example, she began her prophecy with, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. She also referred to King Josiah Josiah. As the king, as the man who sent you to me, instead of as the king. Most of all, what she revealed come to pass. King Josiah does die in peace alone before the king of Judah fall. Using God's word, King Josiah was in a tough situation. He just learned that his kingdom was going to be destroyed because of things other people had done before him. He couldn't he could have said God was being unfair and turned his back on God. Instead, he tore his clothes and sought advice from a trusted leader. In return, God offered him some good news. God let the king know that his disaster would be delayed and that help. Josiah continued his commitment to being Judah back in right relationship with God. This because our this because God denied us something at that point, a delay doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. But here because of Josiah and his commitment to God, humble himself, knowing that even though my forefather did this, but it falls on me. Because I am king of Judah now. I am the reigning king. So with him doing that, he humbled himself so that God can save the raptor from coming down on him. He saved the raptor from coming down on him, but on the city while he reigned. That's like when we think about a lot of times the president comes in and they try their best to stay away from wars. They try their best to stay away from things that going to hurt, cause the disaster, cause chaos. So we see here Josiah did what he was supposed to do to make sure that the rain didn't come down on them, on his range. Making sure that his words line up with God where and continue to do what does says the Lord. So we thank God this morning for his word. We thank God for what he continued to do and how he continued to show us and guide us. The praise, the praise the Lord. Great and awesome God, help me serve you whenever I find myself. Don't let any bad scars or sad news describe me. Show me who to go to to get a word from you. Then give me strength to say faithful and trust what I am told. Amen. I thank you all for your time and your patience. Be blessed.